Hello and welcome back to part 6 of my tutorial training on how to sell your products at Warrior Plus, JVZoo and Clickbank and today we're gonna briefly go over domain names, web hosting and connecting them together and then uploading your sales page files to your web hosting server first I'm going to just briefly describe the Namecheap or domain registration process at Namecheap and I recommend Namecheap but you can go anywhere you want I'll leave all the links to my recommended resources down below for you to check out. So first, your domain name. It could be anything you want. And i gotten questions about whether you need a different domain for each one of your products. You can certainly do that if you want, or you can have just one domain and sell an unlimited amount of products. That's probably the most cost-effective way and also build up your brand. So I would recommend just getting one domain for that to sell all your products. And particularly, I would recommend getting a .com. And it could just be something simple like marketing with Leon. And you can see all the available domain names you can purchase let's add in the .com to see if that works okay that's available so to buy it all you have to do is click on add to cart and there it is add it to cart cost is eight dollars and 88 cents per year okay then all you have to do is just go to uh, the checkout cart here view the carts and then just go ahead and make the purchase I don't need to show you how to do that you check out with your credit card or PayPal. And same thing with web hosting. I recommend either Bluehost or HostGator. Again, all the links are down below and you can choose whatever web hosting you want. Go to web hosting, shared hosting, and that's what I recommend. Getting shared hosting is definitely the most cost effective way. So buy whatever plan that fits your budget or buy it from any other web hosting company, that's up to you. Make sure you already have a domain name because once you select a plan, it'll ask for a domain name. So you already have one, just enter that. And if your web hosting company already gives you like a free domain, if you buy one of their plans, then you can go for that. So after you buy a domain name and have web hosting company, Go back to Namecheap or wherever domain registration company you bought your domain at. Log in and in the dashboard, find your domain that you purchased. Click on manage and the process is very similar to all the other domain registration companies. It's all the same or very similar at least. Once you're in the, your selected domain, go to name servers or DNS. And then make sure you are able to create a custom DNS or change the name server or add a name server. It could be called differently at other places, but pretty much it's very similar. It's called DNS or name servers. At Namecheap, you select custom DNS and now you enter in your name servers. So basically, most web hosting company will give you two name servers, either something like ns1hostgator.com and then something like ns2hostgator.com it'll be a number ns100 ns101 mostly two name servers or if a hosting company gives you more than that you can add more name servers but usually it's only two so again it's ns1 or 100 followed by something like bluehost.com and then ns2 dot bluehost.com so they will give you that when you buy their web hosting plan it'll be emailed to you or it will be displayed in your dashboard and if you're confused about it click on the chat button chat with them find out the the name servers so you add it in here paste it in here exactly like you see it so once you enter it in you click on the save button the save button for namecheap is right here so once you save that, it'll take approximately up to 24 hours and then you can visit your domain. Okay, so that's pretty much it for connecting your domain name with your web hosting service or server. And now let's go to our FTP program. This is what you can be using to upload your site files. And I'm using something called 
core FTP and it's free. I've already included these download links in the resources page uh, down below if you want to download this. So first thing you want to do is navigate to your sales page files or your website files here. Click on this icon right here. Navigate to your files, your sales page files. So I got here my sales page click OK and so these are the same ones you see in the part 5 of my tutorial training series so we have the, the main sales page index and then we have our main ebook file upsell ebook upsell page thank you pages okay now to connect to your web hosting server go to your site and click on site manager and here I have a couple of websites already uh, set up but as a new user you will need to click on new site and here you will need to enter in a site name and here either you can enter in ftp dot your domain name whatever it is or you can use the IP address of your web hosting server and your username is the same username you log in to your web hosting service and again, they will email you the login information and FTP information to your email. It's very uh, simple and straightforward. And that's pretty much all you need is the, this up here, FTP, your username and your password. Okay, so now I am connected to my web hosting server. So everything on the right side is my web hosting server files. And on the left side here is my computer files. So first, let's navigate to public underscore HTML. All of your site files will go in the public HTML folder. Let's click on that. And you can make a new folder, make directory, and let's call this demo product. Click OK, and it'll create a new folder for you here. So demo product, let's double click on that. So now we have a blank directory folder so demo product so if I go up here and type in demo product and let's enter that so now we have a blank directory so same thing as here so as you can see public HTML is you can treat that the same thing as your main domain or your main folder and then a subfolder or folder that you just created and that's how you navigate to it. Let's highlight everything. So let's drag everything or control A for select all or you can right click and select all just like that. And then drag it over. So from your local folder files and you're dragging it over here to your server files. And you down here you can see it's uploading. So it will take a couple minutes for uploading everything. Okay, once everything is finished It'll say no more files are being transferred down here. And you can see all your files have been copied over to your server. So let's go back to our browser here. And if we refresh, let's refresh. And this is our sales page that was created in part five. And now you want to navigate to your upsell. Let's go to upsell.html. Okay, now you see this is the upsell page. So I hope you see how it works and let's go to the thank you HTML. So you have to enter it in exactly like that. Okay, thank you HTML, just like that. And then this one we already actually set up where to click here to download the ebook. So you click here, it'll load up the ebook go back okay that's pretty much it for part six setting up the domain connecting it to your web hosting and uploading your site files so there's still a long way to go so in the next part I'm gonna show an alternative way to build sales pages with WordPress okay so be on the lookout for part seven building sales pages with WordPress and let me know if you guys have any questions please leave it down below and be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more tips tricks and tutorials on internet marketing thanks again and happy marketing